Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our wills to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking in human terms because of the weakness of your nature. For just as you presented the parts of your bodies as slaves to impurity 
and to lawlessness for lawlessness. So now, present them as slaves to righteousness for sanctification. For when you are slaves of sin, you were free from righteousness. But what profit did you get then from the things of which you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now that you have been freed from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit that you have leads to sanctification and its end is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hoped in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hoped in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hoped in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like a shelf which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hoped in the Lord. Please stand. is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it, will all, it were already a blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two, and two against three. A father will be divided against his son, and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter, and a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peace be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Marahil lahat tayo ay nangangarap ng kapayapaan, nangahangad na mapayapang buhay, payapang tahanan, payapang kapitbahay, payapang bansa, payapang mundo. Lahat ng ito siguro ay gusto rin ng Diyos na mangyari sa atin wala masyadong iniisip na alalahanin o problema yung tipong sinasabing hayahay ang buhay. 
Pero bakit tila iba ang tono ng pananalita ni Jesus ngayon sa ating Ibanghelyo? Jesus said in, his, in the Gospel to His disciples, Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you. I came to establish not peace but division. I have come to set the earth on fire and how I wish it will already blazing. Gusto nating mamuhay ng mapayapa sa lahat ng aspeto ng ating buhay, pero bakit pagkahiwahiwalay, division, at gulo, nagniningas na apoy ang nais ni Jesus? Pumarito siya sa mundo upang guluhin tayo? I guess, my dear brothers and sisters, for us Filipinos, no? which considered to be predominantly Catholic nation, this message is really for us. Because since tayo ang marami, nakamulatan na natin ang Kristiyanong relihiyon, no? at times we become lukewarm in our faith. Sobrang hayahay na pamumuhay na kailangan ding guluhin ni Jesus. Jesus is asking us today, my dear brothers and sisters, perhaps to question our status quo. To check whether the values we operate on conforms to God's standards and Jesus' message in the Gospel. And when it happens, I am sure, magdudulot ito ng pagkakagulo sa atin, lalo na kung hindi pa ito tunay na naaayon sa Ebanghelyo at mensahe na turo ni Jesus. Bago natin matamo ang totoong kapayapaan na galing sa Diyos, kailangan natin suriin kung anong klaseng buhay meron tayo. Jesus tells in the Gospel, no? From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father. A mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and a daughter against her mother, so on and so forth. It appears na para bagang itong division na ito ay nangyayari dahil parang mali ang napapasa from one generation to another. Parang nagiging kultura ang medyo baloktot no? na pamumuhay that Jesus wants us to question, to revisit. When this happens, my dear brothers and sisters, file will emerge, division will happen, for we are on the process of molding and purifying ourselves, conforming more and more to Jesus and His authentic gospel values, only to be evident in the very life we live and witness to. Ang malaman, ang matutunan, at magbago. To be informed, to be formed, and to be transformed in Jesus a painful, ongoing, lifelong process which we are invited to undergo every day through the very choices that we make. Sa pilit nating pagsasabuhay ng matapat sa Ibanghelyo na pinapahayag ni Jesus, nandun po ang tunggalian. Alang-alang sa pagpili natin sa kung ano ang tama sa mali sa kung anong mabuti sa masama, sa kung anong baluktot laban sa matuwid. Let me end my homily with you with a story between a grandfather and a grandson. This is a very famous story of the Cherokee culture in the North America. Ang sabi ng lolo sa kanyang apo, I have a fight going on within me. It is taking place between two wolves, dalawang lobo. One is evil, and he is always angry, envious, 
sorrowful, regretful, greedy, arrogance. He always does self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false, false pride, no? superiority, and a lot of ego. Tiningnan ng lolo ang apo at patuloy siya nagkwento. Ang isang lobo naman embodies positive emotions. He is joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. Both wolves are fighting to death every day. The same fight is going on inside you, Apo, and every other person as well. Tim tumingin ng Apo sa kanyang lolo at nagnilay nilay. No? As he looked upon his grandfather, he asked, no? "Sino ho sa dalawa ang nananalo?" Sabi ng lolo sa kanyang apo, the one that you feed every day. May we feed, choose, and favor those embodiment Jesus is teaching us in the gospel. Sa pagpapatuloy po natin ng misang ito, sa pagninilay sa misang ito, hingin natin ang biyaya ng karunungan upang makamit natin ang totoong kapayapaan na si Jesus lang ang makapagbibigay sa pamamagitan ng pagsunod, pagsabuhay natin sa kanyang mga turo. Amen. Please stand. Trials and troubles may come our way, but we are confident that God the Father will not fall short in His promises to those who are faithful and persevering. And in every prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of our church who are openly persecuted may be given the courage and strength to remain constant in their faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents may have the strength and courage to guide their children in the ways of faith and Christian life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families and communities divided by religions, divided by religious differences, may discover the truth and show respect to one another, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick, the elderly, and the disabled may receive love and attention from their family and friends, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be happy forever in the kingdom of the Father, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. God, our Father, you sent your Son to help us in our struggles, comfort us in our pain, and give us the strength to always act with trust in your word. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that you, through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very miseries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and, and lead, lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from the participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Taong biyaya 
salamat, Panginoon, sa iyong unlak. Misyong kaloob sa ating puso, aming sarili ay aming handog. Laging tapat at laging tugon, naririto handa kami, Panginoon. 